Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you came to join me today. Um, in case this is the first video that you have seen from me, I'm Christy Waite, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Michigan. And um, I would be so happy, that would make me so happy if you would um, go to the my YouTube channel and subscribe. That would just, that would just tickle me to death. Um, so what I've been doing in some of my previous videos is I have been using the detailed bands dies. So here are the dies. They come nine different dies to this set. And these are what they look like when they are all cut out. They're very, very pretty and very, very delicate on some. And I just love them. So today, so today we're gonna use um, this one here. And we're gonna use this one here. I haven't used that one yet, I don't think. And uh, we're also going to use this one here. Now, on the previous videos, you may remember that these dies are bundled, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Band Together stamp set on page 121. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you things that you could make without having to um, always use just that stamp set with just the dies. So we want to think a little bit outside of our box, maybe a little bit outside our comfort zone, and start creating. And then I'll show you a fun tip that I like to do. Uh, we are also going to be using the Sia Silhouette Designer Series paper. Very bright, very cute, and I have very few pieces left. So these are the pieces that I have left. Um, this one here, there's the back side. This is the one we're using today. That's the back side. This one here, gorgeous purple. And that one, and then the oranges. You may remember, if you have seen any of my other videos, that we have used all those different papers on a different card. And I've loved every single one of them. This has been so much fun for me. So, but what we're using today is this one that looks like a sky. So here is the card that we're going to be making. It's a fun baby card. And we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Pardon my cough. All right, I am going to use the stamp set called Little Twinkle. It's great for baby cards. And we're going to use this stamp right here with the stars. And we're going to grab our Versamark ink, and we're just going to stamp some stars in our sky, kind of randomly. I can kind of see where they are going. I don't know if you can see that because it's tone on tone. Can't really see it. Let's put some silver embossing powder on that and shake that off. Now you can see a little bit better where they're going. But wait till I heat it and then you'll really see them pop out. A little noise here. All right, so you wanna do is hold it close enough so that you see them start to get shiny. Isn't that cool? Sometimes I think that embossing is my favorite thing to do. And then I'll go ahead and do something else and I'll think that's my favorite thing to do. So I guess just stamping in general, making cards in general is my favorite thing to do. That is our front, simple as that. I cut, well, let me tell you what size this is. This is uh, three and three quarter by five. Now I'm gonna attach this to a piece of our silver foil paper. Now, if I wanted to save some money and if I had another project going that I needed, I could cut something out of here because no one's gonna see that when that's on there. But for today, I'm just going to do it this way. Oh dear, it looks like it's the wrong size. Okay, let me double check. Oh, it is the wrong size. Okay, let me give you a tip. Sometimes when things like this happen, it's really good 
so that I can share a tip with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my waxed paper. And I think I would have started this video over and uh, and just, just started over and pretended I never made a mistake, except that this is my very last piece of paper from this this card, this uh, designer paper. So let me pull in my cutter, and I want my I want my paper to be three and three quarter inches. So if you could see what I'm doing, let me just get rid of some of that. Okay, so I'm going to place this at the three and three quarter. So I put it on wax paper. That way, when I am cutting it, it um, doesn't stick to my cutter. And um, just to let you know, Stampin' Up! is coming out with a new cutter. I have mine on pre-order and I cannot wait to get it. So I will share that with you when that arrives. So there was my little tip. I wanted it to be three and three quarter wide and it was actually four inches wide. So now it fits on my paper perfectly. Uh, so the silver foil paper is four by five and one quarter. I am going to use, um, oh, let me show you. This band, this band right here. So I'm gonna change it up just a little bit and I'm going to put this band, which I stamped or I cut out of vellum. I had that on another project and it was just kinda of sitting here staring at me. Now what I could do is I could just take my little um, die this one right here, um, and I could just stamp my image right there and put it on my card, and it would be it would be totally fine. But when I added the band to it, it just seemed to add so much more. So instead of going with the white, I'm going to go with a vellum piece. So I'm going to pull out my silicone sheet just because it's easier. So I don't get tape all over my grid paper. A little more over there. All right, we're gonna center that, place it on, and then wrap it around. And I love how that works. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this to a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that measures 